Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a new feature that Spotify recently rolled out. And when I say recently, I actually mean they rolled it out over half a year ago, but for some reason, people aren't talking about it very much. And I don't know why, because this feature has the potential to drastically change your presence on their platform for the better. Hey folks, if we haven't met before, my name is Joey Clarkson and I am an independent singer-songwriter, voiceover artist, and audiobook narrator with a passion for the music business. I make videos just like this every week, so if this is your thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next video. All right, today we're going to be talking about Anchor, what it is, the new feature they've rolled out, why you should care, and finally, we'll be walking through a detailed tutorial of how to use the platform. Before I jump into this video, I did want to mention that I put chapters in this video so that you could easily find the information you need without having to sit through things you might already know if you're in a rush. So use the chapters if you need to, and uh, if you feel like just watching the whole thing, that's cool too. All right, let's jump into this. What is Anchor? Anchor is a free podcast distribution service that distributes podcasts to all major listening apps, including Google Podcasts, Apple, and Spotify. In February of 2019, Anchor was acquired by Spotify and it now operates as a subdivision of the streaming company. So let's talk about this new feature that they launched. In October of 2020, Spotify launched a new feature called Music and Talk. It was in direct response to the many requests that they got from artists and curators who wanted a way to create content that could feature music from artists that they loved in a way that actually gave back to the artists that they loved. We're gonna read a bit of what they had to say in their official statement when they launched this feature. Everyone loves both a great playlist and a highly engaging conversation. Today, we're beginning to test a new listening experience that brings together music and spoken word content in an easy and elegant package, allowing full songs and talk commentary to live together wrapped in one show. With this new feature, listeners have even more ways to discover and connect with music from their favorite and future favorite artists. Read on for the full details on how to listen, which shows you can hear now, and how to make a show yourself. We're just going to be going over the beginning of this, so we won't go too far into this statement, but if you do want to read the whole thing, I'll pop a link into the description box of this video so you can find it easily. How it works. Think of your favorite drive time radio show, that music journalist whose insights help you appreciate a band's leap forward, a DJ whose perspective makes that next track hit perfectly. Now imagine that you're able to enjoy that perfect blend of music and commentary whenever and wherever you want, interactively and on demand. With shows that use this new format, listeners can interact with the music within the episodes in the same way they interact with all other song tracks on Spotify. For example, liking, saving, and reading more more information about a track without having to leave the episode page or search for it manually. For any episode of a show with music, hit explore episode on the episode page or tap the play bar at the bottom of the screen to pull up the episode track list. From there, you can skip around to different segments and songs and save songs for future listening. This is really big. This is something that makes me really excited because you can say all the bad things you want about Spotify, but they really are leading the way in giving artists like us a chance to actually take control of our listeners' listening experience. They're providing us with insight and tools that we need to grow on their platform, and I really appreciate that. And this really excites me. Shows using this format are exclusive to Spotify because they rely on Spotify's music catalog licenses and compensate musicians and songwriters just like any regular stream of a music track on Spotify. Spotify premium listeners will hear full tracks as part of these shows and those with the free tier will hear 30 second music previews. That part's really important. This new tool allows artists to really reap the benefits of being a part of a podcast that features their music. Every time somebody listens to a track as part of a music and talk podcast, the artist featured will actually get the stream count and the royalties from that stream. And that is huge. This this is huge, guys. Um, that's all I'm gonna read from their official statement. But again, if you're interested in reading more, there is a link in the description box. We're gonna talk very quickly about some key points that you need to know before you start planning your first music and talk podcast. One. Anchor Music and Talk is only available to users who are located in Canada, the UK, Ireland, the USA, Australia, and New Zealand. Two, the podcast that you create cannot only be music. You cannot just curate a musical playlist 
it has to include original audio that you record. It has to include actual talking. Each audio segment needs to be at least 60 seconds long. And if you think this sounds easy, for some of you it might be, but actually 60 seconds is quite a lot of time to fill. So if you're somebody who actually sits down and writes out what you're going to say before you start saying it, I would suggest shooting for a minimum of 150 to 175 words per segment and just take your time when you're reading them. Obviously don't put people to sleep, but don't talk as fast as I'm talking right now or it's going to take forever to hit that 60 second mark. Three. You cannot include music that you do not own the rights to on your podcast. Now, this seems a bit confusing because this is a music and talk show, but what I mean by this is that you cannot embed actual music into your original audio that you're putting into your podcast. You can feature songs within the Spotify catalog, but you have to include them from Spotify. You cannot have a recording of a song within the original audio that you're posting to Spotify. And that's to protect the songwriters and the performers and make sure that they are compensated fairly or at least appropriately for the inclusion of their track on your podcast. If you're a user of Epidemic Sounds, this is something that you can include in your podcast episode because you have paid for the rights to use it. This will be the same with any kind of music licensing company that you might be subscribed to. If you're interested in learning more about Epidemic Sounds, I've popped a referral link in the description of this video, which includes a free 30-day trial of their services and their music. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Four, official monetization is only available to people within the United States who have a US social security number. This is a big bummer for everybody else who's gonna be using the platform. I'm hoping they change this soon, but for now this means that you can't use the sponsorship opportunities that Anchor offers within their platform. You can still have people sponsor your show and have people pay to place advertisements within your show, but you will have to coordinate that separately from Anchor and kind of do all the admin work. I really hope they change this soon. Five? Five. If you do choose to put personal sponsorships within your episode, or if you're located in the US and you're lucky enough to have access to Anchor sponsorship, you need to know that you can only include three segments per episode. You have to have them spread out with at least 30 minutes between each sponsorship segment, and it can't be sandwiched between two songs. It has to be sandwiched between two pieces of original audio. Great, so we've gone over all of the boring details why should you care? Well, as this is a relatively new feature for Spotify to roll out, it would really probably do you well to jump on this earlier in the game rather than later in the game. As with all new rollouts with anything to do with social media, and if you've been paying attention to Spotify and to music streaming platforms, they are moving in the direction of wanting to be treated more as a social kind of media rather than a passive kind of media. So with that in mind, if you jump on this early on in the game, Spotify might actually take notice of your podcast and help push it out. This is all hypothetical. <laughs> I don't know this for sure. But if you start using it early on in the game and really start creating quality, valuable content on Spotify, they might actually start taking you more seriously as not just a podcaster, but also an artist. All right, we're gonna move on to the tutorial. So we're gonna change scene here and uh, I'm gonna get my computer out and we are going to actually upload my own podcast right now, which is called Bridging Borders. It's my new podcast. I started it a couple weeks ago. We're only on episode three, but I've been really enjoying the process. So let's move over to the computer and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to upload your music and talk podcast. Okay, so here we are. This is what the inside of the Anchor Studio looks like. I'm not gonna walk you through how to sign up for a profile. It's really easy. Just go to www.anchor.fm. Once you're inside, follow the prompts. You'll get yourself a profile and, uh, you know, done and dusted, it's really easy. This is what my profile looks like inside of Anchor. All right, so here we are. I want to upload episode three. So I'm gonna go to new episode right up here takes me to this page, and it is just as simple as dragging and dropping. The first time you create a podcast or an episode for a podcast, it will be the same process for you. So I'm fairly organized right now, and I have all of the audio for my podcast separated into sections here. You can see I have episode three, part one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
seven. And I also have a handy little cheat guide for myself that shows me where these need to be placed and the songs that need to be placed in between them. We're gonna go back to Anchor. And I'm gonna drag and drop all of the audio sections that I needed to hear. Once these have finished uploading, you can drag and drop them to wherever you need them to be. Mine are pretty much in order except for my sponsorship advert. I'm gonna go to my handy little guide here and I'm gonna check where that's supposed to live. In this episode, I've placed it between part four and five. So as you can see here, I need to move this one down. So I'm gonna go all the way down into between four and five. And it's as simple as that. My audio is now processing. So at this point in the process, I would want to go into the music section. And right away, you can see that it says, add songs to your episode. Anchor's music tool lets you include Spotify songs in your episode. Search the Spotify catalog and add as many songs as you want. Any episodes that include the songs from the music tool will only be available on Spotify. So I'm gonna click, let's do it. Now at this point, if you want to browse your existing playlists, you can connect to your Spotify account. This is something that would make your life a little bit easier because it is simpler to connect and stay organized, but I actually forget my Spotify password, so. Instead, I'm gonna show you how you can easily search for songs on Spotify. First up, I need to include a song called Sober and Skinny by Britney Spencer. I'm gonna search, look at that, pops right up there, so I'm gonna click the add button. It will pop up at the bottom here, so I am going to have to drag and drop. And I'll go through and do that to all of the songs that I need to include in this episode. Before I move to the next step, I have to find my sponsored little segment and I have to mark it as a sponsored segment. This is really important. If you forget to mark your sponsored segment, it will more than likely delay your upload process. The first time I tried to upload, I forgot to do this and it took two full days, nothing happened. And then as soon as I marked it, the episode went live almost instantly. So this is really important. You'll go to find your sponsored segment, which is right here. I'll click these three dots at the side of the music and I'm going to click mark segment as an ad. You'll see that it has changed color to green. That's when you know it's finalized. Again, we mentioned earlier in the video that a sponsored segment cannot sit between two musical tracks. It has to be sandwiched between your own original organic uh, talking audio. If you want to preview your episode before it goes live, all you have to do is click this button here. It's between musical communities and musical genres. And you can jump back and forth. You can make sure the tracks are in the right place. This is really easy to use. I'm not gonna show you the tracks on here or my video on YouTube will be flagged for copyright. So I'm gonna leave it at that for you. Things worth noting that we haven't actually examined so far is that you can actually record directly onto the platform Anchor itself. And you can do that by hitting the record button You'll click allow, then you choose where you want your microphone input to come from. So if you've got a nicer mic, you can attach that and uh, choose that interface or the microphone that you're using. And then you just hit start record now. I prefer to record directly into my recording software and then to export the audio just so I have a bit more control over what it sounds like. But this is a really easy way to use their platform in a way that doesn't take a lot of time. So whichever one works for you. Once you've uploaded your tracks, you'll find all of your previous files from previous episodes live in here. This is a really great feature if you're using audio that is going to be reused throughout future episodes. For instance, if you're using an advert or if you're using an intro or an outro. So anything you upload to Anchor can be found in your Anchor library. We've already explored music and how you can connect Spotify. This little messages button is quite cool. So you don't have any voice messages yet. Ask your listener to send some in, either by mentioning it in your podcast or sharing your unique link. I haven't used this feature yet, but you can send this out to your listeners and get them to record their own voice memos that they want to include in your podcast. This is a great way to connect further with the people who are listening to your music and make them feel special. So I would highly recommend using this part of this platform to help enhance your podcasts. I'm definitely gonna be using it in the future. When you click share voice memo link, it just copies to your dashboard and then you share it wherever your listeners are listening from, which obviously is going to be on Spotify, but you can also share this across your, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, um, your YouTube channel, basically anywhere that your listeners can find it so that they can get involved too. I'm assuming this is a great way to also promote the show itself. 
Transitions is pretty cool. I don't use the transitions, but they do have a bunch of sounds in here. I don't actually know if I can show you this without it being flagged for copyright, so I'm not going to go through and show you these sounds. But they do have really cool things that you can use within your podcast to help enhance it and make it stand out and sound professional, which is very cool. So that's it for this page. We're going to walk through to the next step, which is save episode. Episode title, this is Bridging Borders, episode three. I have gone ahead and I actually made the description here. So I'm gonna paste it in there. And at the bottom, I am going to include my link tree link because this is the place that I'm most up to date with all of the things that I'm posting. So it's going to be the best place for people to be directed towards as they're more likely to find what they're looking for if they visit there versus if I send them to my website. If you want a video on how to use Linktree and why you should be using Linktree, let me know in the comments below and I'll add it to my list. All right, from here, we're gonna move on. Publish date. I want it to publish on July 1st at nine o'clock a.m. I'm going to confirm that. This is season number one, episode number three. It's a full episode. Content is clean. I do watch my language in this. I also watch my language on YouTube, but my husband will tell you I have a sailor's mouth. <laughs> so I've had to edit out quite a few curse words. I'm not gonna upload new episode art. In a perfect world, I would be updating this one regularly, but I haven't figured out how I wanna brand the individual episodes. If you wanted to upload new episode art, you would just click this button here, and then you would select whatever picture you want to use. I believe I used 3000 by 3000 as a size for this art. All right, so everything looks good to go. I'm gonna submit this episode for review. And that's it. The podcast has been posted. It's done, that's all you need to do. It's worth noting that it can take between 24 and 48 hours for your podcast to upload using Anchor. I find that it's fairly quick with Spotify and I think that's because Spotify owns Anchor so they must prioritize their platform. I mean, that's what I would do if I owned the platform. I would give myself preferential treatment. If you find that your podcast is not uploaded after 24 hours of waiting for it to be, then I would go back and make sure that you have done everything properly with your sponsored segment. If you've used one, make sure that you've listed it as a sponsored segment and make sure it's not between the music. If you still run into problems, you can reach out to their customer care team. But honestly, that's the only thing that I've ever run into. And it was a very simple fix. Once I fixed that, the podcast went live within, I think it was an hour and a half. So it was a really simple fix. And that's it, folks. It really is that simple. I know I say that after like every tutorial, but it is that simple. They've made it foolproof. Something you might be interested in knowing just so you can kind of section off enough time to do this yourself. It takes me approximately an hour and a half to do the research and write up the shows that I produce. It takes me around 30 minutes to record the dialogue, and then it takes me about 30 minutes to edit the dialogue after. Then as you can see, when this process is slowed down, it really only takes me about 10 minutes to upload. So at that point, we're sitting at two and a half hours to put a podcast together, which isn't too bad. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. And on the way down to the comment section, if you could hit that subscription button and turn that notification bell on, that would be wonderful. If you wanna keep watching videos, I'm gonna pop one up here that I think you might find interesting, or you could always watch what YouTube thinks you'll wanna watch next. That's it from me today, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.